So we have the sum of 4 times some number in 19 is the same as 3 times the difference of the number in 23. That is a mouthful. <coughs> Where's your equal sign? How can I split this problem up? Is the same as equal? Right, when you see the is the same as, that's your equal sign. So before that, this first phrasing right here, the sum of 4 times some number 19. We just did stuff like this. But before I get there, so I'm, I'm, even I'm jumping ahead. I'm about to start talking about x's and all this stuff, but I haven't even defined x. So this is where we need to stop and say that we're going to let x be what? x is just going to be a number, some number, the number, the missing number, doesn't matter. All right, so the first part says the sum. Uh, the first word I see is sum, which means that I'm going to do what? I've got addition. And it's the sum of what two pieces? You look for the word and, which is right here. What comes before the word and? Four, four. four times some number. So that's represented by what? Four x. So the sum of four times a number and what? 19 is the same as, which is equal. Now look on the right side, 3 times the difference. So as I read that, I'm not even reading the whole thing, but I see 3 times the difference, which means I'm doing 3 times, is it 3 times a number? No, it's 3 times a what? It's 3 times a group of stuff, okay. So the group is what? A difference. So we've got subtraction here, and it's the difference of what two pieces? The difference of something and something else. What's the first something? X. The number, so that's x, and the other something is? Remember, does the word and mean addition? Mm -hmm. No, the word and tells me where the operator goes. This word and is where the minus sign goes. Look at this, the number and 23. But to know what and means, we go back a little bit and you see that it's the difference. So that's why I have subtraction here. Now that I have my equation, what do I do? How do you solve this? Simplify first. There's some stuff on the right side of the equation. So this is still 4x plus 19 is equal to what? Notice that we are distributing. 3 times x is 3x, and then what? Minus, minus 69. Okay. We've seen these types of equations before where you have variables on both sides. I don't really care where you move your variables. But what will probably be best for you to avoid issues with signs is to move your variable terms so that you have a positive coefficient. Should you move the 3x to the left or the 4x to the right? If I move the 3x by subtracting it, right? What's 3x minus 3x? That's 0, right? Because these guys are opposites. That's what I need to have happen. If I do that on the right side, I do it on the left side as well. Now if I move my x's to the left, where do my variables need to go? I'm not my variables, my constants. I'm sorry. Wow. So I need to move the 19 to the right. How do I do that? Subtract. So subtract 19 on both the left and the right hand side. So the 19's give you 0. What is on the left side of the equation. This is just x equal negative 69, negative 19. They are both negatives, so they combine to give you a larger negative, what? 88. And again, checking a problem like this is going to be difficult, just given the nature that we're finding a number. I mean, it's a negative number. It could have been anything. 
But I want to make sure that I answer the question here. It says find the number. So how do you respond to that? Just write the sentence. The number is negative 88. Are there questions about, about how we created the equation? So we have to write the answer, the number A is negative 88. Right, so you will state, state your answer. Lisa, what's your question about the equation? Why do you not do anything with the 4 and the negative 3? You mean solving it, why do I not do anything with this? Mm -hmm. Well, what's 4 minus 3? It's just 1. I could write a 1 right here. Because 4x minus 3x is technically 1x. Okay. But once I get to a uh, plain positive 1x, I don't need to do anything with that. Because, I mean, you could divide both sides by 1, but is that going to change anything? No. However, if you had moved your variables to the right side at the beginning, you would have ended up with a negative x. So had you done this a, a different way, you would have had negative x on the right you would have had a positive 78 on the left. Is this acceptable? No, and so here you would have to divide by the negative one, and when you do that, you'd have 70, negative 78 equals, not 78, well, I guess I changed the number, I wasn't paying attention, but had you, this is ridiculous, I should have stopped recording. There we go, that's good. You make it happen, right? So the end goal here is to have a plain positive 1x. So had you moved the variables and the constants on opposite of the way we did it, you would have had this, which meant an extra step. And this is why it's always best to move your variable terms so that the coefficient is positive. And it will save you the step of having to divide by negative. For some reason, it's more difficult to divide by negative than it is to divide by positive. I don't know why, but it just is. But it doesn't really matter. I mean, x equals negative 88. The number is negative 88. And we're good to go.